Okay, right here is a 2008 Hitachi EX3600-6. The EX3600 was first announced by Hitachi at Mine Expo in Las Vegas in 2000 as a replacement for the older and very successful EX3500-3 model. The current EX3600 is available from Hitachi in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer prefers. In backhoe configuration, the EX3600 is set up with a standard 28.8 .8 cubic yard rock bucket. In front shovel configuration, the EX3600 is designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 27 and a half to 30 cubic yards. On the back of the stick, you can see the two bucket cylinders to curl the bucket in and out. And up top, under the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push the stick in and out. The EX3600 comes standard with 50-inch crawler shoes. And to help give you an idea of the size of an EX3600, this machine measures 25 feet 8 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 30 feet 10 inches wide. Now, let's go up on top of the EX3600. The EX3600 comes from Hitachi with hydraulically folding steps, which you can see right here, to allow safe access for operators and mechanics to get on and off this machine. Okay, this first compartment that I'm going to show you, which is located directly below the operator's cab, this is the electronic room. And inside of this box that you see mounted on the wall here are where all the computers, relays, and electronics are located to work the machine. And right here you can see the control box to raise and lower the hydraulic steps. When Hitachi upgraded the EX3500 to the new EX3600, one of the biggest design changes they made to this machine was completely redesigning the powering system. The older EX3500 was a twin-engine machine. The new EX3600 was designed to be a single-engine machine. The twin Cummins KT38C diesel engines in the EX3500 were replaced with a single big Cummins QSK60 four-cycle turbocharged and after-cooled direct injection V16 diesel engine in the new EX3600, which you can see right here. And this engine produces 1944 horsepower for this machine. On the back of the machine's counterweight sits a 75 gallon reserve engine oil tank.
These two red canisters that you see on the back of the machine's counterweight are for the fire suppressant system. And through here you can see the engine radiator. From here you can get a good overview of the hydraulic system on the EX3600. This machine uses four high torque axial piston swing motors. The motors are positioned in pairs, two in the front and two in the back on each end of the ring which is a very well engineered design because not only will it provide better contact area for the swing but it will also help wear the ring more evenly. And here you can see all the control valves. On the left side of the machine, directly behind the operator's cab, sits a 1968-gallon diesel fuel tank. And on the right side, sits a 1,057-gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right there. And from here you can see all the hydraulic lines running out to power the shovel in the front. From here you can get a good view of the hydraulic pumps on the EX3600. This machine is set up with four tandem axial pump groups that supply a four valve hydraulic system enabling both independent and combined operations of all functions. The main pumps on this machine are regulated by an electronic engine speed sensing control system. Inside of this compartment, here you can see the oil coolers. And you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. From here you can get a good view of the power module section on the back of the machine, which can be removed in one single piece to allow for quick breakdown and reassembly of this machine. Here you can see the cover over the mufflers, and here you can see the two sets of air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. And from here you can get another good overview of the top deck of an EX3600. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the EX3600. Okay, the two electric joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the front shovel out in front, or if the machine were set up as a backhoe. These two hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator seat connect to the two big foot pedals on the floor, and this is how you travel the machine. Each foot pedal controls each individual track, just like on a smaller Hitachi excavator. These two foot pedals that you see on the right and left side of the two travel pedals control the clam functions. The right pedal opens the bowl clam and the left pedal closes the clam. Off to my right side, 
You can see the control panel, which switches to control the engine and other functions on the machine. Here you can see the emergency stop switch and the main engine throttle switch. To the left, directly out in front of the operator, sits a 10.5 inch LCD display screen, which monitors the machine's operating conditions by displaying fluid levels and operating and sensor fault information. The two smaller display screens that you see directly above the main display screen are for the outside cameras to enhance operator safety by showing the operator blind spots on the machine. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an EX3600. The noise level inside the cab of the EX3600 is rated to be below 76 decibels. And this big cab was designed exclusively for Hitachi's mining class of hydraulic excavators. Here you can see where the travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And take notice that both the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors are encased underneath these metal shields, which is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the machine is in operation. And from here you can get a good view looking at the superstructure. The EX3600 comes from Hitachi with a hydraulically powered centralized filling station, which you can see right here. When this lowers down, it will allow the fuel man or mechanic to plug into any one of the ports to fill the machine with either diesel fuel, engine oil, hydraulic oil, coolant, or other service fluids. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Hitachi. And the overall working weight of the EX3600 in front shovel configuration with a 27 and a half cubic yard bull clam and 50 inch crawler shoes, as you see right here, is 398 tons. In backhoe configuration, with a 29 cubic yard rock bucket and 50 inch crawler shoes, the EX3600 weighs in at 396 tons. And for customers who prefer an electric hydraulic machine, Hitachi also offers an electric version of the EX3600, powered by a 1200 kilowatt Hitachi electric motor. But there she is, a 2008 Hitachi EX3600-6.